The following episode may, and most likely does, contain spoilers, foul language, and sexual tension between co-hosts. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome to Two Dicks Exposed. Happy almost New Year! Happy almost New Year! (laughs) I'm not Mike. I'm not Pat. And welcome to the end of the year episode. Yeah, this would be further away from me because I will use it. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. For your own sanity, yeah, we are uh, le- getting rid of the blowers. We were legit playing with it nonstop as our audio technician and our crowd uh, was or, um, yelling at us, yelling at us. We just kept playing with it, like uh, we are still children. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. I wouldn't want to be anything other than a child. Yeah, I mean, like what? Be a gross ass like adult with like uh, cleaning my earwax out and stuff. Oh my god, like trimming my nose hair. Ugh, uh, 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 uh. Oh my god, taking daily vitamins. Yeah. Oh god. Uh, uh. Like, someone uh, someone in our audience was telling us that we should drink water because we don't want to dehydrate ourselves. <laughs> right. Oh, shit. Uh, anyways. So, 2022. 2022, man. It it's is, been a year. It has been a year um, of just nerd shit. Nerd shit. Yeah. Uh, we got some great movies. Great we got some great video out. games. Great. We got some great animes. We have, uh, off the top of my head, we have um, My Dress Up Darling that came out this year. Did you ever watch that one? I watched... Episodes one and two. Okay. And I tried to read it. Okay. And I got very invested in reading it. Yeah. And it got taken off the site I use. I I read a lot of it. I didn't actually watch the anime. I, I watched, like, the first, like, six episodes. Okay. Uh, but, like, so far it was a, a very good retelling of the um, of the manga that it was kind of like, okay, well, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll just stop reading the manga, let the anime pick up because it's got confirmed for a second season. From what I saw, it was pretty yeah. spot on. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to hold off so that way the, the anime will pick up because the anime is gorgeous. Um, and yeah, go forward with that. Uh, also this year we had uh, Kaguya-sama Love is War. Uh, I think season four, um, which I read and watch. Mm-hmm. That is one of those ones where like, like reading it, I, I laugh while I'm reading it and watching it. I laugh while I'm watching it. Like it is very much like a you, like you have to enjoy both mediums yeah. to like really just truly enjoy it. Um, uh, season four, uh, I guess uh, you know I'll, I'll go ahead and be the be the first one. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. spoiler. Uh, it ends with the uh, uh, the the kiss uh, scene finally. Oh my goodness! Like, so it's like you know like that's a big moment in the series, and then going forward, like they're even making a movie based around it. Speaking of which, um, there are two new anime movies coming out, and I cannot remember the name of them for the life of me, but they are linked and they are dropping simultaneously, and they can be watched in, in any order. Either order, yeah. And depending on which order you watch them in, one has apparently a very dark ending, and one has a very light, like happy go lucky ending. No, my luck, I will choose the uh, the opposite order, and I'll get the dark ending. Yeah, like because I think we d- we discussed this. We were going to go see it, and we were going to see the flip. Right. Like, I would see, like, red, you would see blue, and then, like, you would see red, and then I would see Right, blue. I'd come out, like, crying tears of joy, and you'd come out, like, oh, hating your life. God. Um, yeah, so Which then, normally does make me cry yeah, tears yeah, yeah. of joy when you hate your life. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, we also had uh, a um, Thousand Year Blood War. Uh, yep. We had have, we have Bleach that came out this year. Yeah, but you guys which, are sick of us here talking yeah, about yeah, that. Talk, um, I, I mean, gotta say, I did start watching it, though. Yes. I know I said... I wasn't going to because I hated reading it. Yeah. They have done such a better job right. portraying it through the anime than they did through the manga. It is it is fantastic. Um I, honestly, like just that 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 now you feel like number one song when like, that that kicks up for the very first time. Ah, you motherfucker. <laughs> it's like like it, it brings back that carnal feeling. It's like, man, I remember when I was a kid, mm-hmm. uh, it, when I watched this for the first it's time. It's kinda cool too, because like the yeah. opening has the old animation in it right so it is a throwback um, um the, we also had mob 100 that was out this year yep um, uh netflix dropped cyberpunk endgame uh, was that its name front runner I think front runner or edge runner cyber runner something, runner something something Ed, runner dick edger yeah <laughs> um say what you want about netflix's live action their animated anime yeah is pretty solid that was done by trigger wasn't it it might have been I, i'm pretty sure it was done by trigger and trigger is beautiful point which is why i'm uh i'm surprised does it end does it end with uh um, them fighting god i mean in that world like yeah. machines are god <laughs> you know so so trigger did what trigger does best <laughs> they, they eventually trigger, yeah. uh you you uh you jump the shark and fight god 
Um, there wasn't a shark. I wish there was. Yeah, that, that would make the series a lot better. Anything well, would be better if there was just a shark in it. Because, like, they're the greatest mythical creature ever. <laughs> Great mythical creature. Sharks are right is there. This, with, is like, this the episode where... Is where, this where we, we dive into your psyche and you explain... Why sharks are not real, and they've never been real, and they're the greatest mythical creature ever. Um... We also had Spy Family that came out this year. Yep, Spy um, Family's great, which great. is on season Fucking two great. now. So uh, I stint I I shared with uh, my girlfriend the theory about the um, that Anya was uh, created by the Japanese government to um, get uh, the the Japanese citizens into like wanting to have children again, and she was like, "That was that that probably makes the most sense ever because like now after seeing Anya, I want another one," and I'm just like, "No." <laughs> kids are not the future no kids are not <laughs> um, that, that's why uh, that's why Tesla cars don't recognize them when they drive did you see that picture I sent earlier where it was just a picture of like the three of them just uh, Lloyd, Anya and girl face I don't remember her name Eeyore Eeyore? Your. Your. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the three of them in uh, the grocery store, and Anya's holding up a newspaper mm. that says No Nut November on it with a, a grocery cart full of peanuts, and she's just like crying. Crying because she can't have any nuts. Because she can't have nuts. Oh. Oh, God, that oh was my beautiful. God. It, I, that's the only time that I want No Nut November and a child to be in the same picture yeah, and they, laugh at it. Yeah. Any other time, um, the <laughs> FBI, FBI, FBI. Not, what flip the script a little bit. Um, we haven't talked about this a lot, but superhero movies. Yeah, uh, we had um, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse. Yep, which I stand by. That is a good movie. Mm-hmm. Um, You're the only one. I, 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 I'm, I, I simp for Benedict Cumberbatch, and I am a Doctor Strange fan. Um, and I he also is a love great Sam Raimi. Side character. Yeah, I. But I think I, I don't think he deserves his own movie. Yeah, I I, I can see I can see it, but I also just I, I love Sam Raimi. All you can director. see in those movies is CGI. Yeah, for me, I just see Evil Dead. There's, th- there's no acting. Three. It's it's literally he That's just made Evil Dead three. Yeah. Um. We also had Thor, which I think we can all agree was just not good, bad. Uh, you know, I did I enjoy it up until the last twenty minutes. It's like a five, and then, I mean, it was. It was so bad, it, Chris Hemsworth came out and said... He will not do it again. He won't do it with Taika Waititi. Nope. He wants to go back to like a Russo Brothers-esque yeah. Thor. We had that weird werewolf movie. Werewolf by Night or something like that. Yeah, Werewolf which by was Night. Which was interesting. Moon Knight. And Moon Knight. Moon yeah. Knight was good. Um, um, we also had uh, Black Panther that came out this year. We did. All right. Yep. Um, have you seen that yet? I haven't. Okay. I won't go, I won't go into that one then. Um, Black Adam. Have you seen that one? No, no. It's just The Rock being The Rock for an hour and a half. But what surprises me the most, right? Because we are we are in a year where we had three Marvel movies and two DC movies. Mm-hmm. And the best superhero movie that came out this year was not a Marvel movie, but a DC movie, The Batman. The Batman. The Batman was fucking fantastic, man. Yeah, and I mean... I saw it twice. I saw yeah, that movie it's, twice in theaters. It's a slow burn, so it is not a Batman movie. No, for people who just like Batman movies, it is no. a Batman movie for, for people, people who, who like Batman. like Batman and the comics, and because it's they they did what they had to. It was a <laughs> slow burn. It is very reminiscent to me of like Year Zero, Year One Batman, and the animated series yes. combined together. Uh, you saw him actually use um, a, a utility belt, which like. Um, my uh, Christian Bale never did. Right. Right. Yeah, um, you haven't really seen that since like Clooney. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's been that long since like the uh, the the utility belt was an actual function. Like I mean, that's what makes Batman the Batman. Right. Right. It's I mean, his obviously tools and it's his brains not and what makes Batman Batman. Fighting There's powers. a million things that make him Batman. Right. Um, but yeah, I saw that movie twice in theaters, and the first time I was on the edge of my seat. The first, like from beginning to end, mm-hmm. uh, and the second time I watched it, I was like, "Oh, I already know everything that's about to happen in this movie." Um, so I, for the I'm first just half, for the background just kind of it was building. But once it like I, I, like once the 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 cart was off the rails again, mm-hmm. I, I I lost. I was like it, I was absorbed in it again. Uh, the Batman was fantastic, and I'm excited because they announced that they are working on the second one. Um, we had uh, we had great years for uh, video games. Uh, Elden Ring, I personally love the just one yeah. game of the year. I fucking love from software games. So Elden Ring winning best uh, game of the year. I saw a clip earlier, and I don't know if it's true. When they accepted the award, did they thank Bill Clinton? No, 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 no. No. Uh, so there was a guy. It's 
this troll kid who looks like the way he was dressed and the way he was like the way he looked. Like he looked like he was a part of the the uh, the, the, the design crew. staff, the okay. crew, right? And so he actually like got up on stage and like if you watch the sequence again, right? Like the the whole that him on stage multiple times. Uh, Hideak, uh, um, um, what's what's the guy who makes the Ghibli movies? What's his name? Because that's how I, I always remember his name. Let's hear uh, from the class. Yeah, class. Come on, class. What's his name? Uh, Miyazaki. Miyazaki. Yes, thank you. Um, Hidetaka uh, a plus. Miyazaki. I just call him Miyazaki um, because because you guys are on last name basis. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm on I'm on last name basis with this man. Yeah. Uh, also, I I like referring to him as Miyazaki because like when I say like uh, Miyazaki who made the uh, Bloodborne and Dark Souls and stuff like that, it always like confuses people who are big into Ghibli movies. They're like, the guy who made Studio Ghibli made the Dark Souls franchise. And yes. It's like it's like yes, yes he is. Let's ship it. <laughs> um, but even he's like sitting up there on stage and he's just looking at this kid like, like the, the security no one like and he's like well I, I guess I'll just, you know like I guess he's just here or like a part of something whatever so he gets this whole speech blah blah and then the kid uh, grabs the mic uh, as like they're about to like leave and he's um, says something along the lines of like I want to thank my. Um, uh, I don't know much about Judaism, so I'm not gonna like. I don't want to say the words, but he refers to him as like a, um, like his like you know what the, their term for pastor would be. Um, and he calls um, a rabbi? rabbi. Yeah, yeah. He calls um, uh, Bill Clinton his rabbi, and um, yeah, that was it. And I'm just like, wait, what? 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 What happened here? Uh, but yeah, past that, you have uh, you had Elden Ring that came out this year. Um, we had. Pokemon Skylet, um, Skylet, uh, Skylet, Skylet Drive, Pokemon uh, Skylet, Scar- Drive. Scarlet <laughs> Violet, um, yeah, God of War that came out this year. Riding around on Pokemon um, on motorcycles. I've never, I never played the God of War games. I watched. I had a buddy growing up, and I was super into the God of War games, and did not have the mental capability to play it. So he just asked me straight up if I wanted to watch him speed run it. Right. And I literally, I just watched this kid for like six hours, just literally play through the first God of War. Right. Like not stopping, just beat the game. Run straight and through. Do I regret it? Yeah. Yeah. Would I do it again? <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, we also had uh, uh, Horizon Forbidden Dawn, I mm-hmm. think it was what it was called. Uh, FF14 won, uh, I think, MMO of the year. That was a big one as well. Uh, other than that, I mean, you have Kirby. Oh, Kirby Forgotten Kirby Lands. came out. Yeah. Yep. I, I can't think of any other games really off the top of my head. Did we get uh, a new Mario game this year? We got Mario... I know we got the Rabbit 3D sequel. World with um, Bowser's Fury. Okay. But so it was, a re, it, was a re, it was a port of um, 3D World from the Wii U to the Switch, and they added this thing called Bowser's Fury into it. Um, I play. I actually just beat it recently. Um, it wasn't that bad. It was like uh, it, it felt like uh, Super Mario Sunshine actually the way it played. Okay. So it, maybe maybe we'll get Super Mario Sunshine for the I mean, wait. I, we, no, we did get Super Mario Sunshine for the Switch. I'm gonna be honest with you, and I, I might lose some nerd cred on this. Mm-hmm. I'm not a big fan of Mario games. I'm not either. The last one I played uh, was 64, and I, I, I didn't even beat fan. it because. I made it to the point where I could throw penguins off the edge, and that was about it. <laughs> Let's go, <laughs> Mamma Mia! Um, I love the. Um, and I don't think uh, I mean Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo is like my like one of my favorite games. Mm-hmm. I do love that game, but like uh, and Super Mario Three, but outside of those two, I really don't care for like Super Mario uh, uh, 3D World, uh, the Wii U games, uh, uh, the Wii games, stuff like that. When um, I was uh, growing up. I didn't have, like... Zelda was always my thing. When I was growing up, I had the systems. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I had the systems. But I didn't have a lot of games for them. Because mm. one of my best friends at the time, he bought every single game. Right. And he was over my house five times a week. And he would just... So he would just bring his games. We'd play whatever and all that right. stuff. I remember my brother one time got Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> And at this point, we had not invested in memory cards for oh, the GameCube yet. Okay. Because we got the system, didn't buy memory cards, thinking, like, there has to be some kind of internal storage. Well, right. there's not. Um, so we're, like, 
you know, sitting there thinking, like, we want to play this game, but, you know, what's the point if we can't save it and all that stuff? So then my buddy does the same thing. He goes, well, I already beat this game because I got it, like, two weeks ago. Right. You want me to just play through it now? And we did the same thing. We just watched him beat Watch Luigi's him Mansion in a single right. sitting. Um, the first Luigi's Mansion I ever played was the one on the Switch uh, that came out, like, what, maybe a year or two ago? Maybe okay. Two years ago? Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, like, growing up for me, it was a, I was an RPG kid. Like, I... Uh, I played some random games when I was a kid, like Mega Man X and stuff like that, but then I got obsessed with, like, uh, Final Fantasy VIII, mm-hmm. right? Like, I was, like, nine years old. Yeah, like, nine years old, ten years old. And um, that was kind of, like, it. Like, if it was an RPG, I wouldn't play it. Um, so, like, I know this year we got Triangle Strategy, which is, uh, I fucking love um, tactical RPGs. Um, I think that was it. We had a pretty solid lineup of animes this year. Would I say it was the best lineup of animes? No. Uh, Spy Family was probably... like Spy Family easily is number one anime this year. Yeah. I don't think anything really compares to it. No, once again, Attack on Titan gave us the final season. Right. Ended up just being part three part of three. a 17-part yeah. final season. Um, um, so, if you can manage to stay awake, that was a solid watch. Yeah. I need to actually sit down and actually watch that now that Mappa is in control of it. Okay. Um, it is, it is, it is finally on my to watch list. And now that we are finally getting the, uh, the mm-hmm. final part, which I guess we can segue into that, um, um, things we're excited for, for 2023. And a great way to jump off that, because you also mentioned MAPPA, mm. it was unofficially leaked that MAPPA has season three of One Punch Man. Dude, are they really? Yeah. Awesome. Which finally. makes MAPPA kind of a fucking powerhouse. Yes. Because they got One Punch Man. They got Chainsaw Man. They got Attack on Titan. They got Jujutsu Kaisen. Yep. Um, You're telling me that One Punch Season 3, where they're in the underground, is going to be done by MAPPA? Unofficially. So that means we'll probably get to see MAPPA do the fight with um, Tornado? Dude, yeah. I don't know how Tom, to pronounce his name. Garo or the, Garo. the Hero Hunter. That's the fight I'm looking forward to. In yes, this. if MAPPA's doing that... See the thing is pure nut city. Um, all right. If if you're a One Punch Man watcher or reader, read. Well, if you're a reader, you know everything I'm about to yeah. say. If you're a watcher, I'm gonna say some spoilers. Here. Yeah. So spoiler, spoiler, spoilers. Spoilers. I'm not spoiler. gonna go in depth, but I am gonna describe what season three is gonna be. Right. Because you kind of need to understand why there's the hype about Mappa having this. So the next series is gonna be basically the assault on like the demon headquarters right and what this entails is they are fed up because you know it's never happened before but all of a sudden a whole bunch of disaster level demons are coming to earth and they've been attacking a lot more frequently right and they discover where the demons headquarters is basically if you watch season two you know that the demons are now feeding like demon hearts to people and transforming right. them into demons, Turning and stuff them like into that. demons. so they're like we need to kind of get a jump on this so they assemble all of the s class heroes that they have besides burst because he's you know mia and they actually invade this underground thing so what that means is you will get in fight scenes between every s class hero that you've met so far right and it's cool because there's a lot of S class heroes that you haven't seen fight. Yeah. You've just seen them mentioned and you, yeah, you, you know their like, name. Like Zombie they're... Man, for instance. Yeah. You've met him, but you haven't seen him fight yet. And you get to see that in this next arc that's coming up. And what's also exciting is the hero hunter, who has kind of been like a background character throughout season one and season two, he has become a part of this and he is kind of doing it all for his own, you know, purposes because he wants to get stronger. And he wants to save that snot-nosed kid that's right. in season two that got kidnapped. And, you know, it's it's this whole thing which I don't know how they're going to encompass that in a season. I think right. they're going to... I think One Punch is going to be a season three, part one, season three, part two. Yeah, it has And to it, be. it's going to have to be that whole 24 episode episodes long. at least yeah. to to knock it out. Because that whole... The, 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 there's so much that happens in um, the, the monster invasion or the monster... Whatever you want to call it. I don't it. even know what it's called. Uh, like, everything has, like, an arc name, but, like, whatever that arc's name is. Um, yeah, I mean, so that's awesome. Uh, so 2023, mm-hmm. like, if if that's true, that's going to be great. Uh, One Punch Man Season 3, done by MAPPA. Um, 
I know for anime wise, um, I don't like off the top of my head. Like I know they have a bunch of things announced already for the uh, the winter season. Mm-hmm. Um, I we was, do have AOT final season final part season, four, final season which part four. is supposed to be, be the, the last final. part right. of the final season. So we'll finally get some wrap up on that. Uh, we uh, we mentioned last uh, last week, but we have uh, my hero, uh, not my hero. Who cares about my hero? Uh, uh, they're getting season seven or uh, season six or something. Whatever. I don't, yeah, I don't uh, know. Demon Slayer season three. Yeah, best genius. Um, Jujutsu Kaisen season two. Oh, um, January seventh, we're getting uh, Tokyo Revenge season two. Yep. Yep. We're yep. actually I haven't the, watched uh, any of that. I don't. I don't think I will. It's the animation's actually pretty good. I enjoy it. Okay. Um, uh, which is the winter arc or the winter something they call it? I don't know. I never read the manga. Okay, how? I mean, well, how far are they in the anime? Like, what's going on right now? So I can kind of judge that based on because uh, I finished reading it, and now they're just releasing like kind of like weird one shots where it's it's, it's weird because like it ended, it, it ended. It's but now they're releasing one shots following characters. Yeah, like, it's been a um, it's been a hot minute since I watched the anime. I know one of the big things that happened at the end of the season one was um the glasses guy the 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 big douchebag um he finally joins the the gang okay so he um, became like the the leader of division yeah. five or whatever. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like okay he's like he's like in there as like one of the leaders and they're like well if you don't like it then you need, you need to do something like you need to do whatever xyz so he's he's out right and i'm just like all right like I'm like all right so here we go here's here's that guy um uh, so that was like what happened at the end of season one. So I'm not really sure. I'll have to rewatch season one before season okay. two comes out. Um, then what else was announced? Uh, we have the slime movie that's on its way. And season three. And season three. So the yep. slime season three is on its way. Also, Nagatoro season two that's coming out. Uh, Don't believe me, Nagatoro senpai, or sent whatever. Um, Season two of that's coming out. Uh, we got Vinland Saga season two, which yes. is the other Mappa one. Yes, that that's it. That's yeah. Um, that's uh, Amazon Prime though, isn't it? Yeah, it is Amazon Prime. Okay. Uh, what else? We got um, season four of Is It Wrong to Pick Up a Girl in a Dungeon? That that one's interesting. I yeah. I loved season one. I really did. Yeah. Season two, they dialed up Etchy to like yes three hundred percent. I have yet to watch season three. Season three was weird because, like, that was another one where the animation just kind of took like a nosedive, mm. um, which uh, sucks because. So that's another one where like I read the manga, right? And I don't know if the, it just stopped updating or the site I read on, you know, booted it or what. But it it was different, right? And I liked how it was different. The reason why uh, is it wrong to pick up a girl in a dungeon? Um, is different from like, the manga and stuff like that is because it's a light novel first. Okay. And so a lot of times it happened with um, uh, what's that one that Sp- we Spider, Spider, Spider did that. There was another one that I was reading where it's a light novel. Solo. Ah, not solo. I can't think of it. There's one where it was a light novel. They made a manga of it. The manga um, like wasn't doing too well, mm-hmm. so they restarted it from chapter one with a different manga artist. Uh, retelling the story uh, from chapter one. Um, I can't think of it off the top of my head. But, yeah, I know, like, it, is it wrong to pick up a dungeon? Uh, is, it is it wrong to pick up a girl? Pick up a no, it's not wrong, but it's really yeah. impressive. Um, but, like, I know, like, that's based off of the light novel. So, like, it's weird. Because, yeah, um, we, we read, um, we watched Spider. Yeah. And the anime went further than the what, manga. What's that called? Like, Kamen no Saba? Spider or something. Kumo like. Desu Sa something. Yeah. Something. Uh, no, Kumo is bear. I don't know. Bear, spider, spider, spider. Bear, bear spider, spider, spider. Um, uh, I know it's um. So what if I'm a spider? I think it's the like, anime yeah, name. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, we got Isekai Non Beery that's coming out, which is a manga that I read. Mm-hmm. Um, that's gonna be interesting. It's about like a guy who gets reincarnated into another world with a farming tool that can do anything, mm-hmm. uh, and he's like this overpowered like thing because he has this like powerful farming tool and he um winds up like creating like a a, a constant harem like it becomes like a a, a, is that the one where he's like his he's 
Blessed by Hephaestus. No, 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 no. That's uh, my slow life in like the farming land. That, that is such a good like. I do like that one. Manga. I, I do like that one. I'm surprised you actually read that one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. The, the I gotta say the, the translations mermaid. recently have gotten horrible. Oh yeah, so bad because it uh, it got dropped and some guy decided to pick just it up some guy with, like, picked it up Google like Translate. A, oh, that's um. But I love that one. Yeah. Um, uh, for the listeners, find it. I don't know. Yeah. Google I've, search what we're about to describe. It's to like, you. Um, but it's like one my of those slow life in another world as a farmer. Cultivating land. Or cultivating something land. Like yeah, it's cultivating land. Something. Something. Um, but it's you know the basic story where like four people get summoned from Earth to be the heroes of yeah. an alternate land. He gets there and his power like, is They so rate easy. them all that you know it's like. They, they touch an orb or some shit, and it's like, okay, you're going to be a magical swordsman, or you're going to be a sorceress, or you're going to do something, something, right. something, something. And when he goes to do it, like, they can't read it, so they're like, oh, you were summoned by mistake, you know? And they try and apologize, so they're like, you know, we can't return you to your world, so what do you want in return? And he's like, I don't know, just give me, like, a plot of land or something. Right. So they give him this plot of land on, like, the outskirts of the human kingdom, and when he gets there, turns out he's actually been blessed by, like, his Festus. So, like... This is the world where, like, Norse, or not Norse, um, like Greek. Greek gods yeah. are roaming. So, you know, he gets out there. It turns out he can just make, like, any tool he wants and right. all that stuff. And ends up meeting with, like, a expelled mermaid princess. And, you know, she joins him. And then he just meets, like, an undead king lich, yeah. like, in a cave somewhere. He uh, meets, like, the dragon. most powerful dragon of the yeah. mountain. And they all just become friends because he, he feeds them and he's just a no- nice guy. And he's, like somehow becomes the most powerful character in the world and he doesn't even know it because he's just like on this plot of land farming i i would be i would be surprised if that one does not get an anime because that's oh like, yeah it, it, it has so to it, it checks off all the boxes um, it's it's kind of beery is one that's coming out that kind of is like that i really like it um again overpowered guy winds up doing these things that like he thinks are normal it turns out like he um one of my favorite things is he winds up domesticating uh these wolves and they turn out to be like hell wolves Okay. Um, and then uh, he befriends like a spider, right? Like it's like there's a gigantic like spider thing that lives in the tree that he like set up his shop in, okay. and it turns out it's like the like this like world demon spider that like is like the demon king and like the other like other powerful people like dragon kings are like afraid of and shit mm-hmm. like that. Um, but that's getting an anime. It's uh, exciting. And then there was another one that I was excited for that I can't think of now. Um, but yeah. I mean, just for the winter season alone, like, there's nothing, like, you got Tokyo Revenger Season 2 that's dropping, and is it wrong to pick up a girl in a dungeon Season 4? Uh, so, is the winter season popping off immediately? No. But, I mean, I mean just, everything we've mentioned is dropping between January 7th, I think, yeah. is the earliest date, and then, like, the end of April. Spring, spring is going to be where it pops off, because that's when we get Demon Slayer Season 3. Yeah. Like, we get it in April, and that's going to be the start. And I feel like next year, I feel like... You have to do something after Demon Slayer, Demon Slayer Season 3 drops out. Like, we're going to get an announcement for Jujutsu Kaisen Zero 2 sometime. It's, it's going to be a summer. It's going to be a summer anime. It's going to be so good. Yeah, it's going to be so good. The next arc is going to be, like, oh, I'm so excited. chef's kiss. It's and just... Mashal and all the other ones that we've mentioned yep, before solo. as well. Um, um, and then video game-wise, we got uh, Final Fantasy 16 coming I mean, up. Sometime. let's be honest. Nothing matters besides Breath of the Wild 2. Breath of the Wild 2. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, let's just glaze over everything... And talk about Breath of the Wild. Too. Breath of the Wild Two is honestly the only thing like I'm like video game wise I'm excited for next year. There's like a couple like little things I'm excited for like mm-hmm. uh, uh, Diablo Four is coming out, Final Fantasy Sixteen is coming out, Resident Evil Four remakes coming out, um, but all of them pale in comparison to Breath of the Wild Two. See, for me, Legend of Zelda holds like a very special place in my heart. Yes. So when I was young, like I played like the NES, so you know, but yeah. they had basic games you know i played wheel of fortune i played tetris i played contra you know like they were fun kind of get me through the day type deal but went over my best friend's house and he had ocarina of time Mm -hmm. and he had just got the game and i sat down and i watched him beat like the deku tree and then move on to you know jadango's cavern and then like you know, the next week I went to my cousin's house and she was like, oh yeah, I bought this game. I, I can't beat it so you can have it. So she gave it to right. me. And then next thing I know, like, you know, I'm playing it constantly and I'm calling up my best friend and I'm being like, I'm at this part. And he's like, oh, I'm at this part, you know, like, and that was before you could just really jump on the internet and, you know, 
right. figure out how to beat stuff. So like you actually had to figure out how to beat you had games, to figure these puzzles, or out you around. had to go out and buy like the sixty dollar guide through book. So or you like, could call the Nintendo hotline and charge your parents' uh, credit card. Yes. Yep. Yes. I I never did do uh, that though. I was a good boy. I uh, I did it once by accident uh, because like I didn't realize I I say accident because it was an accident. I really didn't know what the phone number did. I was like six years old, mm-hmm. and it was like uh, there was a phone number in the um, the the Mega Man book, the 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 Mega Man X book for the Super Nintendo, and I was like, oh, like this is Mega Man's number. I want to call Mega Man, right? Like stupid dumb kid stuff. And then my parents got Don't upset. Don't lie, you do that now. <laughs> I mean, I. I still do stupid, dumb kid stuff. Um, it's just that, you know, I don't charge my parents' credit cards anymore. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, you're sadly really a stupid tra- adult. Yeah. Sadly, I have to charge my own credit cards now for my stupidity. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, Breath of the Wild 2, like, Zelda's always been, like, uh, same. I mean, I recently, maybe 2020, uh, 2019, I did, like, a thing where, like, I actually was, like, sit down. I was like, all right, I'm going to say and do finally beat every zelda game mm-hmm. and i mean we're talking like zelda like zelda 1 zelda 2 all the way up through breath of the wild like the actual port games uh, all the handheld games the zelda cdi games like mm-hmm. i found like emulators where i can play the uh, zelda cdi ga- um, cdi mm-hmm. games the wand of gamelon or something it's been a minute since i played them and i I'm so happy that I was able to like purge those games from my memory. That bad? Yeah, they're so bad. They're not <laughs> even like I. I hope that Nintendo. Did you go back and rewatch the Zelda TV show? Oh no! Oh no! Yeah. I watched someone overdub or redub that. Yeah, and it's just like turning Link into a giant <laughs> douchebag. Good. <laughs> I, I um, yeah. I mean, I love Zelda. Like, uh, I I recently started replaying Breath of the Wild and trying to do like an actual one hundred percent run, like. You know, uh, the first time I played it, I did all the, the um, I made all the, I did all the, the shrines. Right. Um, you got your poop stick. Yeah, did, did, um, stuff like that. Get the poop stick. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to, like, actually go through and, like, I never, I never did actually. Did beat the master challenge? No, I never did that. I can never get past, like, level 45. Yeah. Like, I, I want to go back and do all that stuff. So I'm currently working on that as well. Um, I mean, I fucking love Zelda. Like. It's great. Give me Twilight Princess, please. It's oh my god. Yeah, like I was so pissed because like you can only get it for the Wii U. The the last release they did or whatever, you know, everyone is speculating there's going to be some kind of like Zelda port and all that stuff. I was like, just give give me me Twilight Twilight Princess. Princess. That's all I fucking want. That's all I want. Like if if I was like, if you give me a 19th edition of fucking Wind Waker, I'm going to rage. Yeah, I'm gonna cry. Yeah, burn. They gave us an HD remake of Skyward Sword. Yeah. Before they gave us an updated Who the fuck asked Twilight. for Skyward Sword? No one. No one. No one. No one. Like, we, was that, that was this year, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I think. Beginning of this year? I think it was very It was very recent we got Skyward Sword. Fuck Skyward Sword. Nobody likes Skyward Sword. That is Sword. the only Zelda game that I've picked up, played, and said, I am so bored. I played it and beat it on the Wii, all right? Mainly because I was like, hey, let me beat this game because I want to beat this game. Uh, so I can, again, claim that I beat every Zelda game. Naturally. And then when they announced it for the, the Switch, I was like, okay, they added that control where you can, like, hold the the, the the stick this way to slash this way so you don't have to, like, use the motion controls. Right. And I'm like, maybe that will make this game more fun and enjoyable. I don't have to swing my arms around all day. Mm-hmm. And um, no, no, it didn't change anything about how I, I, I about did the hear the port fixed a little bit of it. The it made port it does better. fix a lot of actually things that... That, that going, sucked. But, but you can't fix a broken game. A game is broken. It just wasn't interesting. It's not interesting. It's like they, they put nothing into it. They, it's, it's, it's Breath of the Wild before Breath of the Wild. They tried to add all these elements right. I that mean, like made Breath of the Wild what it is today. It, it needed to walk so Breath of the Wild you're It wrong. really did. I like understand that. Like the stamina, but, the, uh, the shield breaking, and all that other stuff. Right. But, but it's just, it, it, wasn't it, it wasn't there. It did not hit home. So, I mean, hey, you know what? We're talking about 2023. Come on, Nintendo. Like, it's 2023. Announce it. Give like, it to us. Give it to us. I mean, we've had two trailers so far. Yeah. And it has an official release of May, right? May, right May. now. One thing that we wanted to touch on, but, uh, New Year's resolutions for anime characters. Yes. Yeah. Something yes. we talked about. So, uh, kind of thought of a fun game, because we, we mentioned this before. I'm a manga reader. Mike is a anime watcher. Yes. So, I kind of thought it'd be funny... If I said, hey, here's a character, where do you think this anime is going with him? Because okay. he, Mike does not like to read spoilers or anything like that. No. 
but you know, obviously, with me reading manga, I've I've watched at least the next year's worth of anime releases. Already. Already. So the big thing I guess we can start it off with is Chainsaw Man. That is hot shit right now. Right. And I know in episode one I said I was waiting because the animation was so beautiful. I was just going to watch it instead of reading it. Well, that was a bold-faced lie. Yeah, I, uh, I was going to say you finished it. I sat day. down and I read the next 113 chapters. And goodness gracious, is that a manga? So, so. Mike... Have you watched farther than episode one yet? I'm on episode seven. You're on episode seven. Okay. Yes. Which is the rooftop battle? Yes. Okay, cool. So, there's a couple characters in that, that battle. Yes. So, I'll, I'll give you a choice. So, you have Denji, you have Power, and you have Aki. Where do you think they are a year from now? <sighs> Man, this is a hard one, because Chainsaw Man is such a, like... Like, it could go anywhere, like, physically, like, as a senin and as a shonen, like, it could go anywhere as, like, a story. Uh, Denji could uh, live happily ever after, um, but he also could get, like, brutally murdered. Um, so, I'm going to say he he survives. He lives. He lives a happy life after everything. After everything's said and done. Okay. He gets happy. He gets, you he gets, you think he finally gets that kiss? He gets that kiss. I'm he gonna, gets that I'm, kiss? I'm going to go with that. Okay. All right. That, that's what you're going to go with? What yes. about power? How do you think uh, How do you think she turns out? Uh, Murdered. Murdered? Yeah. I'm going like full-blown murdered. Ouch. Yeah. Okay. Who do you think kills her? Ooh, that's a good question. I mean, you can pretty much list anything at this point, and it's probably a, a demon. It's yeah. I mean, some demon probably that I haven't met yet. I don't know if it's any demons that we've yeah, but definitely murked. Definitely murked. Murked. Okay. Um. And then you got Aki, the 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 dark horse. I could see Aki being the one that murdered her. Could you? Okay. I could. Like, it, the show is so wild. Like, it could go anywhere. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm going to go... My boy Denji, he deserves a happy life. He gets a happy life. He gets that kiss. Uh, he okay. finally gets a touch... Uh, he finally gets to grab some boobs. Good for him. Right? Uh, and, uh, yeah. I'm gonna Happily go ever after. Happily ever after. Happily ever after. And, uh... All right, you have some, uh... Some bold predictions. Yeah, right? <laughs> Everyone Considering dies. how the first epi- seven episodes going, right. you think there's a happy ending. That's a... yeah. No, no. I'm just I'm 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 throwing it out there. I You're just putting that him. good juju out. I, in the I need world. that goodness. You're just like, right. I need something to be good. All right. right. Do you have any other ones for me? Not really. I mean, everything else you kind of caught up on. But right. uh, I mean, I guess there are some New Year's resolutions. I know what uh, Luffy's New Year's resolution should be this year. Okay. It should be to uh, finally listen to his crew. Right? That'd be nice. Like, actually listen to his crew for once. Yep. Goku. Goku. Train your fucking son. Yeah, like, actually, not even train, just be there. Be there. Be, be a there dad. Your son. Uh, um, like, Gohan has proven to be a valuable asset. Train him. Right. Like, sh- you you mentioned that he like he's technically stronger than him or something? It's, yeah, it's been spoiler, spoiler, released spoiler. now that, I mean, you know what? It's been out for a while. Yeah. Dragon Ball Superhero. Gohan achieves a new transformation at the end called right. Beast Mode. Right. And it's considered the... I don't know if I want to say second most powerful character in the manga currently, but they have announced that it is stronger than Goku and Vegeta's current UI and Ultra Ego forms. Really? Yes. Damn. All right. Um, Inosuke from Demon Slayer. Yep. Um, his New Year's resolution should be, you know what, just super simple. Learn how to read. Oh, I like yeah. that. I he, like that. He, he should learn, and then, like, that could help him. That, you know, he might make some more friends that way. Yeah, he would make some more friends that way. Yeah. Yeah. Also, he should dress as a woman more. He, he should dress very, as a woman more. He's a very pretty, beautiful woman. Very beautiful woman. Yeah. Um. What else we got? Lloyd. Lloyd needs to retire, man, from Spy Family. He does. Just so be, a, be a family You know man. what? They They love you. Yeah. Just give up on your job. Give yeah. up on your future. Just, just be a family man. Just be a family man, dude. That's like, it, man. Your resolution, spend more time with the Anya. That's it. Yeah, She that's it. deserves She better. deserves all of it. Uh, Vegeta. Vegeta. Uh, 
Like, pump out more babies. Yeah, put put out more babies. Your kids are prime. Like I would say, like be a better father, but like you clearly are the best father already. He's the best one. Um, I think that about wraps it up for the new year. That about right? wraps it up. And so, uh, so I guess all we can say is thanks for watching. Thanks you know, for these watching four episodes. Least, thanks for hanging out with us through 2022. And uh, I guess we only got one thing left to do, right? Right. Welcome into the new year. Yeah, welcome to the new year, buddy. What's that ever? 2023. 2023. 2023. Happy New Year's, everyone. Right. There we go. Here's to another year. Yeah. Closing our two days. Yeah. And with that, see you later, Space Cowboy. See you later, Space Cowboy.